Hello friends, you are welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about components of the motherboard and their functions. Good. Now, let's continue. This is the motherboard and we have all the parts labeled up to 13. We are going to talk about them one by one. Now we have the components we listed. One, the first one here is the mouse and the keyboard slot. We have the USB slot, we have the parallel port, CPU chip, RAM slot, Floppy controller, IDE controller, PCI slot, ISA slot, CMOS battery, AGP slot, CPU slot, and power supply plug-in. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we have the keyboard and mouse slot. The keyboard and mouse slot is, is part of the motherboard and that's where we connect the mouse or the keyboard to the computer you can use Connector is unique in PCs. So if we have this particular connector we are talking about on the motherboard, it's unique depending on the type of the PC you are using. Now the modern ones can only have computers they use the built-in and then they are computers they use the built-in and then they are computers they use the built-in and then they are already coming with the motherboard. Now the keyboard uses USB as you are seeing this mouse here is also using USB so not necessarily this mouse but there is a type of a header of the mouse that you can connect to this place and the mouse comes with purple and the keyboard with blue good that's what we are talking about now we have the USB, which is the universal serial bus. The universal serial bus is the general purpose connection for the PC. You can find USB versions of many different devices, such as mice, keyboards, scanners, cameras, printers, and what have you. The USB connector distinctive rectangular shape makes it easily recognizable so if you see your USB like this with this rectangular shape you'll be able to recognize that this is a USB slot okay this is a USB and a lot of devices in the world use this USB stick so this is the USB port and this is the USB stick. So as you can see, it comes from, we have a lot of devices that come soon. We have a lot of devices that come soon. We have a lot of devices that comes with what? It's even microphone that can external microphone. They all use a USB slot. Good. And this slot is built on the motherboard. Now we have the parallel port. So this power port we are talking about, most printers use a special connector called the power port, as you are seeing it here. This is not a VGA, it's different from VGA, okay? So we have the female and the male. This one we are seeing here is the female, and it allows you to insert a different one to fit in, just like the VGA. Also, does 
good. So this connector called a power port. A power port carries on more than carries data on more than carries data on more than carries data. Supposed supposed to the serial port, which uses only one wire. Paraport use a 25-pin female DB connector. As I was saying, this port here is 25. From here up to here is 25, and it's female, meaning you can connect the one with the male with the pins. That's the male one into this one, and then it will be able to transmit the data. It's being used by printers. Good. Now we have the CPU chip. This chip you are seeing here, which is the fourth one, is here. It is the brain of the computer. We call it central processing unit, also called the microprocessor. Okay, it performs all the calculations that take place inside a PC. CPUs con comes in variety of shapes and sizes. Modern CPUs generate a lot of heat and towers require a cooling fan or heat sink. So as I said, this particular thing we are talking about here is the CPU and as it's working, it generates heat. So if you see your laptop, if you put a laptop on your lap and you are using it, then the under the cancord is caused by the CPU because it's working. As this is working, it generates heat. Okay, good. So as it generates heat, we need fun to cool it down. And we said that this. And we said that this. And we said that this. We said that the CPU is what the same. We said that the CPU is what the same. We said that the CPU is what the same. We said that the CPU is what the central processing unit, and it is the brain of the computer. Now we have the RAM slot. Do you know RAM? What is RAM? RAM is the random access memory. So you've seen it before. Good. The random access memory stores programs and data currently being used by the CPU. The RAM is measured in units called bytes. RAM has been packaged in many different ways. So I will show you the picture of the RAM very shortly. But in the PC, this is where we put the RAM. One here, see this place? as it's been shown here, you put the RAM inside and you close it. Good. So, this one too is built on the other board. Good. We have the RAM. So, this is not the RAM itself, this is the RAM slot where you put, but we need to, it's not part of the motherboard, but we need to, it's not part of the motherboard. But we need to connect it to the motherboard through the RAM slot. Now we have the floppy controller. The floppy controller, as the name implies, drive connects. Floppy drive connects to the computer via a 34 pin ribbon cable, which is then connects to the motherboard. Okay, as this one was saying that, see this device here, it has pins here, and these pins are connected to this model. It's not common now at this, because it controls the floppy disk, and now you see we don't use floppy disks again, then this one becomes a cake in the system. First, when we were using floppy disks, it controls the disk, like when you put in a CD, in a, uh, uh, how do you call it, in the CD room, how it 
treats the data and then gives it fit the computer that's what this one does but this time around it's not very common for one day we'll talk about it now we have the floppy disk controller is one that is used to control the floppy disk drive find two common types of so hard drives so as you're seeing this ide here is also part of the motherboard no time to read this. the majority of pcs use the ids drive that's the i we have the sci we have the scsi drives show up in high end pcs high-end PCs such as network servers and graphical workstations. Good. This one too is not very common, but it's on the motherboard as you see it's here. Seven. So this is where we connect it on the motherboard. Good. Now we have the PCI slots. Have I given the full name of the IDE? The IDE stands for what? Industry Standard Define. Okay. Let me come again. Uh, the IDE. What is it? Alright. Okay. PCI slot. Now we're talking about. The protocol that 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 we're talking about. Yeah, the bus protocol is the PCI bus. It's used to connect I/O devices. That's the inputs and output devices. Okay. Mm -hmm such as NIC or RAID controllers. So if you want to connect any other device to the computers which use this type, you have the NIC and the RAID controller. They pass to the PCI slot. All right. So to the main logic of the computer, PCI bus has replaced the ISA bus. Okay. So we'll be talking about this is not now I'm just you're just identifying the parts that are connected to the motherboard now we have the ISA slot the ISA stands for hot industry standard in your PC most of these things are there in your PC most of these things are there in your PC most of these things are there in your PC most of these things are there in your PC most of these things are very redundant some of them are not connected and we don't have the devices for it because they are outdated and we don't really need them in the pc for it to function okay like the floppy disk slot and all that it's just a, a built-in always always ready in case you'll be using that then you connect it so it's not everything that we see that you need to connect to before you can use the computer Okay. Now we have the CMOS battery. This one is very, very, very important. The CMOS battery helps to keep the computer's date and time. Keep the computer's date and time. So in case the computer, you turn off the electricity, so the computer can see the date and time running. Okay. So if you remove this battery, in the CMOS battery, if you remove this battery. Then you have to reset the computer's date and time. If the battery too is outdated, you need to remove it and change it. All right, good. So this battery, what it does is that it keeps the computer's date and time, even if the computer is turned off. Now I have the AGP slot. So the AGP slot also means advanced graphic port. Advanced graphic port. In case you want to play game 
or you want to work with high video performance of your computer then you need to add an advanced graphic to the system this is where you build that through this spot or the, through this slot add an advanced graphic slots in order to play video games high end or high graphics resolution games you need to use this agp slot then we have the cpu slot the cpu or the to install the cpu just slide it slightly down into the slot and then okay this one is describing how to install but in a nutshell you see that the cpu remember if it does not go easily it is probably not correct because plug it in the cpu fans power you know the cpu is what the central processing unit right the central processing unit and this is the port you need to put the central processing unit in as i've explained with this first the uh, central processing unit this right was the brain of the computer have the cpu chip this is the chip and that one that's the hot cpu slot okay don't miss it this is the central processing unit chip this is what does the calculation and this what we are seeing here is the slot where you put it okay good now we have the power supply unit this is very very common very very, very common most all computers use this device and is built on the motherboard so this is where you can see it here on the motherboard this is where you connect the power from the ac so the ac is of alternating current you take the current or you change the voltage from the electricity and you connect it to your computer you need to pass through here and then first passes through the power supply unit and the power supply units then to the motherboard through this plug in okay so the power supply is responsible for changing the power to be suitable for the motherboard in case it's too high to minimize it in order and the motherboard dispares the power for all the parts of the system in it all the parts of Component, all the components on the motherboard to share the power through this particular plug-in. Is that right? Good. Now, if you have question, feel free and ask or leave your comments. If you are not clear with anything, do this exercise. Identify the following devices. First, is A, B, C, and D. You can do it. Write down the function of the devices mentioned in question one. What is the function of the CMOS battery? What is the main function of the motherboard? Good luck. Thank you.